Hi, I'm Laura Ray and I'm here with my Gua Sha routine for mature skin. I'm 57 years old. I found Gua Sha a couple of years ago, started doing it and saw a tremendous difference in my skin. My skin became much more lifted. My fine lines were less noticeable. If I don't do Gua Sha, if I ever do take a break, I notice a difference right away. So this is a routine I try to stick with every day. I usually do Gua Sha for five to 10 minutes. The benefits are lifted skin, the fine lines are less noticeable, Noticeable. also lymphatic drainage. If you have puffy under eyes, this is a great way to eliminate those or at least improve it. The tools are very minimal for this. I have taken from my Gua Sha set two tools that I really love the best to work with today. They're clean. I wash them with soap and water. I also wash them when I'm done with my routine. And then today I've selected this jojoba oil. I've been using this for a while. I like jojoba oil. I've also used grapeseed oil on my skin. So that's up to you, whatever oil works best for you. So I'm starting off with very clean skin. I've washed my skin thoroughly. I like to put the oil right on my fingers and just sort of tap it in. I can feel dry spots on the skin right now that the oil is absorbing very quickly into. And I may need to put a little bit more on my neck. This is for slippage so that the tool is never pulling on the skin. And I'm going to start with my neck with this wider tool. And you always want to keep the gua sha as flat to the skin as you can. So I'm going to start here and loosen up the neck. Everything I do will be five times. And when I get to the end, you just do a little wiggle here. This has helped me tremendously with my neck. Now I'm going to do the center and my goal is to work this area here under the chin to keep this tighter. So I just put my fingers here right in the middle. I'm going to use this groove and just start here, work up and go right under the chin like that. Now let's go to this side of the neck. And again, I'm gonna switch hands so it's a little bit easier. Go up, wiggle. Now the reason for the wiggle is just really to get the lymphatic fluid moving. Beautiful, I already feel like my neck is looser. This has helped me a lot with sort of tech neck from looking down at a computer. Now let's work on the jawline. I get a lot of questions about how I keep my jawline defined and I really think that this tool has helped so much. I'm gonna put this little part here right in my cleft here and I'm gonna put two fingers here and just go up and then right around the ear do a little wiggle. You want to use a light to medium pressure, not too hard. Beautiful. Now I want to work these lines around the lips. So I take this tool, I call this my little fish, and use this tip and do sort of zigzags up and down this area. Okay, and you can see some redness. That'll go away in a little bit. That's just getting the blood flow going. I found a big difference in my lip lines when I used this tool and made little circles over the lips. So I'm gonna do that. I just hold my lips taut so the skin isn't moving around so much. And then go back the other way. Now I'll work on the lower lip. I can even hear crunching like muscles that are tight, just like you would hear in the neck around my mouth. All right, good. Now I'm gonna take this flat edge here, sort of scooped actually, 
and we're going to do this area of the face of the cheek. So I'm going to take two fingers just so there's some hold there and go up. For the under eye, you can use this part of the tool and just stick with this tool, but I love to use my little fish here. And I put one finger here and very gently slide out and then go up here and do your wiggle. Now I'm going to switch tools and we're going to work on the brow and forehead. I'll be going upward this way with the tool. And so I'm going to put my fingers right on the uh, bone here of the eye. Okay, I also like to work this way for the forehead lines. So I go this way. And then I work for the middle here. I sometimes will take my tool and do little zigzags in the middle like this. Just to sort of work on that area. I will find that I will hear crunching. Crunching in the brows and crunching in between here of muscles that are just very knotted and tight. So I will make a few passes across there. Then take this tool again and let's stop it for a minute and take a look at the, this is my right, your left when you're looking at me and see how the two sides, see if you see any difference so far. Okay, now let's start on this side and we're gonna work our way uh, up again and then at the end we'll go down and sort of drain all the lymph. So we'll start here at the chin. And then I'll take this tool and do my little zigzag. this side and we're going to do the cheek area. It's interesting how I feel like my sinus fluid moving. Some people will say they get a lot of drainage after they do gua sha. I've had that experience at different times also. Now let's move on to the eyes and I'm gonna go back to my little fish tool. I think I need a little more oil. Anytime I don't feel enough slippage, like I'm actually gonna be pulling on the skin, I will add a little extra oil. You can always sort of take a tissue afterwards if you have too much oil on. And go under the eye. There we go. Good. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the brow here. I'll go back to my other tool. These come in a set together, so it's all in the same set of tools. And again, I'm going to do my forehead lines. Now, I will even go back to areas. If I feel I want to work an extra area, maybe my eyes are extra puffy or I want to work my cheeks more, I'll go back and work that. But everything today feels pretty good. I don't see any extra puffiness or anything. So I'm going to go now and just sort of work the fluid back down here. So I'm laying my tool and just going down the neck. You can even start here. A lot of people that do gua sha, I'm not an esthetician, but those that do it, they will sometimes start here, go to the chin 
and then go down the neck like that. So if you want to work this area a little bit more, you can do it that way. I hear so much crunching going on. All right, now I'm just gonna go like this too. Just get all that fluid. I get asked a lot of questions about my neck and what I do for my neck, and I feel like wash eyes helped a lot with that, with keeping my skin and my neck tighter. I always use pretty much whatever moisturizers I'm using on my face, I also bring down to my neck. Now I'm just going to work this area and do like five strokes down like this. And that's it. That's the end of my routine. Now anything that I have used here in the video is linked beneath the video. The gua sha tools, the oil that I use, the hair um, scrunchies for the back. And if you have any questions about my routine, just leave them below. And thanks so much for subscribing to my channel, for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful week.